Now we have the motor out of the machine, getting ready to take the bit out. Before we do that, to make our life a little bit easier, you can measure the projection or the distance from the collet to the tip of the bit, either with a ruler or you can use a caliper. And just carefully measure that setting. That'll make it a bit easier later on when we install the new one. We have our 18 millimeter wrench that goes on the motor spindle. 22 millimeter wrench goes on the collet nut. You have to break that nut loose. And sometimes they're pretty tight and you saw how that motor jumped around a little bit. That is one of the main reasons why you need to disconnect the power on your machine. If you simply turn off the motor switch to change your bit and you don't disconnect your power cord, when you break that nut loose, if that motor jumps against the back fence and turns the switch on, you have a really bad day. So disconnect the power on your power cord. <coughs> so we've loosened the collet nut and you see it spins freely, but it actually after two turns tightens up again. Do not try to pull the bit out at this point. The bit is still secure, you will cut your fingers. What you need to do is, once after that free spin, you're back where it's tight, you put the wrench back on the spindle and you put your 22 millimeter wrench back on the collet nut and get over that little safety lock here. Now the router bit is free and you can slide it up. If you have not changed the bit in a long time, and you find that even after the collet nut is free, you cannot pull the bit out, don't put pliers or anything on the bit because you will damage and destroy it. Keep turning the nut until it comes free of the motor and you will now see that you will basically have the bit in the collet and the collet is secured in the collet nut. You can now set this upside down on two blocks of wood to support the nut and then take either a small punch or a small uh, wood dowel and carefully tap on the bit from the back to tap it out to the front. Don't put pliers on here because if you slip you'll damage and destroy the bit. So tap it out from the back if you need to. Okay, put this back on. This is a, a W1 bit, and I'll put that back in here. And the approximate settings or projections for the different bits are listed in your uh, manual. There's not a whole lot of difference from W1 to 2 or 2 to 3, so you can pretty much use the same setting. This is just to get you in the ballpark, so you're not too far in or too far out. The actual fine adjustment will be done later with the fine adjustment on the machine. 18 millimeter wrench on the spindle, 22 millimeter wrench on the collet nut, and hand tight. You don't need to bear down on it, you don't need to put pipe extensions on your wrenches, you just want it hand tight.